Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be learning about the manipulation of zinc phosphate cement, one of the oldest and most widely used cement. This picture shows the material required for manipulation of zinc phosphate cement: powder, liquid, a cool glass slab, measuring scoop, cement mixing spatula, and plastic carrier. See, there are few important points which you need to remember before manipulation of zinc phosphate cement. First is the use of cool glass slab. Now, why do we use cool glass slab? See, the mixing of zinc phosphate cement it is an exothermic reaction. What do you mean by exothermic reaction? That heat is released while the reaction is taking place. So, this release of heat. it causes acceleration of the reaction which decreases the setting time of zinc phosphate cement so one of the method to control the setting time is to use the cool glass slab once we take the glass slab we take the powder and then we divide it into 5 to 8 increments where the initial increments are smaller in size then the middle increments are bigger in size and then again we use the smaller increments now what is the reason behind the different sizes of the increments see initially we use the smaller increments why do we use the smaller increments since we are mixing powder with the liquid and liquid is a strong phosphoric acid which is the main ingredient so these smaller increments they cause slower neutralization of the liquid and there is control of reaction by decreasing the exothermic heat of reaction because we are using smaller increments of powder once we are done with the mixing with smaller increments then we use the large size increments these large size increments they are used to produce the bulk of the cement now the question in your mind might be arising what about the heat of exothermic reaction See in this case, because of presence of less amount of unreacted acid, this step is not affected by heat released from reactions. That's why we can use the bigger sized increments. And then after this, we again take the smaller sized increment. This is done to achieve proper consistency of the mix. So these are the reasons why we use different sizes of the increments in manipulation of zinc phosphate cement and once we get the mix for base or the restoration we should be able to pick the cement without sticking to the instrument and for luting one inch string should be formed when the flat surface of spatula is pulled from the mixed cement clear so these are few important points which you need to remember before manipulation of the zinc phosphate cement let's see a video of manipulation of zinc phosphate cement so as to make it more clear so let's start with the manipulation first we are taking the zinc phosphate powder this is how we take the one scoop of powder dispense it on the cool glass slab now we'll divide it into 5 to 8 increments this i have already told you that first two increment will be smaller in size third fourth fifth increment will be bigger in size and the last increments will be again smaller in size now dispense the liquid keeping the bottle vertical now we'll take the smaller increments and start mixing the zinc phosphate powder and liquid in large circular motion this is done to dissipate the exothermic heat of reaction so basically to dissipate the exothermic heat of reaction we are using the cool glass slab and large circular motion fine now you can see that we are almost achieving our desired consistency for the base and for base as you all know we should be able to pick the cement without sticking it to the instrument so this is what our cement looks like so this zinc phosphate cement is ready to be used as a base or for temporary restoration i hope it's clear to you now let's see the manipulation of zinc phosphate cement for luting purpose the procedure for manipulation is same 
except that the consistency for looting is different than that for base or temporary restoration. Here also we'll be taking the powder using the scoop. Now we'll dispense it on the glass lab and again we'll divide it into increments. The first two increments are smaller in size, then bigger and then again smaller in size. Now dispense the liquid and start mixing the cement in large circular motion. And you can see we are almost achieving our luting consistency. And what is the luting consistency? That string should be formed when a flat surface of spatula is pulled from the mixed cement. So you can see this string when the spatula is pulled from the mixed cement. So I hope from this video you got to know how to manipulate the zinc phosphate cement. And these are few important points which you need to remember. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more such videos. Take care and goodbye.